How many hours are you studying every day? When I say study, I mean to say study, like the real studies, not homework, not journal work, not assignments, none of them. Studies, which means you are taking a concept, you are studying that concept, you're understanding that concept and you know that you know it well. Now, us concept you par koi bhi MCQs aane do, koi bhi sawal aane do, you are able to answer. This is the right way to study. Mujhe aisa nahi lagta hai ki hamara syllabus bhoat vast hai jo hamara bachcha pat ke de nahi sakta. But I feel that students nowadays do not study the concepts. Because you don't study the concepts, you are not able to answer the questions when they ask you in different formats of MCQs or theoretical questions. Concepts janna baad zaruri hai. Don't study the answers alone. Study the concepts. Once you know the concepts, you will be able to form answers. You will be able to formulate answers. And that is when you know ki ye equation aisa kyu hai because you know the mechanism ki ye numericals mein kaun sa equations use karna hai, kaun sa formulas use karna hai because you know the concept. Physics mushkil nahi hai. But kyunki aapko physics ka concepts nahi maalum hai, aapko physics mushkil lagta hai. And because aap concepts pe dhyan nahi dete ho, aap dhyan dete ho ki mein kis ka notes use karu, mein kaun sa book padu, mein kitna MCQs karu, mein kaha se MCQs padu, etc, etc. Actually, agar aap NCRT book ko barabar se padho ge na, if you study the NCRT book thoroughly, I can promise you ki iske bahar kuch nahi aata hai. The framework is the NCRT book, right? Because that is the concept, that is the formulation, that is the genuine outline from where every question is framed. Now, you need practice because of why you will go and study more MCQs. You'll practice more MCQs. But how will you empower yourself to know what is the logic of those MCQs? How will you empower yourself to know how do you think think on those MCQs and that comes only when you know the concept. So how much ever I stress, I can never stress enough why concepts are important. With the concepts comes the discipline, the discipline A to know what you're studying, the discipline to love what you're studying, the discipline to practice what you're studying, the discipline to discipline yourself to follow the disciplines of the many timetables that you've set up. Now all of this is possible only if you're seriously involved with your own self, if you love yourself, if you love your career, if you love your goals, if you believe that you are non-negotiable and your goals are not negotiable too. If that is not the case, trust me, sub timetable, sub video, sub motivation, sub kachre mein jayega. Everything will go to waste because you are not committed, dude. You are not serious with your life, your life plans and your life goals. Are you serious? Answer me that question in the first place. If you are serious, what is stopping you from learning the concepts? If you know the concepts, tell me. Can there ever be a question which they can ask you, which you will not know? They can never, right? Because it's all conceptual and all concept based. But the point is, you are not listening well. You are not paying attention to the concepts, which is why you are studying the answers after answers after answers. Then you get emotionally overwhelmed. Then you are stressed. Then you go in search of motivation. But it's pointless searching these motivations outside. It is pointless even if you solve a hundred MCQs per topic if you don't know the concept of that topic. So here's what I will say again. Discipline yourself. Know what you want. Know what is negotiable. Know what is not negotiable. Find out what are your strengths. Find out what are your weaknesses. Go master your strengths and make it better. Find out your weaknesses. Get yourself coached on that. It could be emotional weakness. It could be relationship, relationship weaknesses. It could be a weakness in a particular concept, in a particular topic. It could be the fear of the backlog which you've not solved and sorted for a long time. But pick that up. This is the time to go and get working with the past topics which you've ignored, not paid attention to. So discipline your emotions. I keep saying this over and over again. Have you watched the video in which I've given why you should study four hours every day and how studying four hours is easy if you plan out the logic? Write to me on Instagram and tell me if you have more questions. Write to me here down and tell me if you have more questions. Let me know if this video really helped you. Like, share and comment. See you soon. And before that, wish you a great last two months.
of this decade or less right wish you this amazing last some days weeks of this last decade and tell me what have you planned for yourself in the next decade is it going to be any different or is it going to be same 2020 is the onset of a new decade are you really getting ready for that